In this video, we're going to go over how to make a camera boom that works well with 360 degree VR cameras and other action cameras. This Railblazer camera boom works great for our GoPro cameras, but the big square base is too bulky and it gets in the way of the footage for the 360 camera. So the camera boom that we're making is for our GoPro and for this camera. But we're primarily making it for this camera because this camera has two lenses and it sees everything, 360 degrees. And when you look down in the video footage, we don't want to see a big square platform like the Railblazer camera boom has. We're going to head over to Home Depot, one of my favorite spots, and uh, we're going to see what we can find for uh, parts. Step one, get yourself some half inch PVC pipe. I have two two foot pieces and I have some couplers, some end caps and elbows and other options. Also got myself a quarter dash 20 bolt and nut. Milwaukee power. I love this drill. It's taking a beating. So here we're putting a one quarter inch drill bit. We then are going to drill a hole through our cap. I'm going to go like that, that way I don't drill into my workbench area. Not bad, that's pretty good. We're going to open up our bolt packet. Trying to reach in there. Okay. Next, we'll take a nut. This is a stainless steel lock nut. Then put our finger in here, hold the, the bolt in place. You don't need to have very fancy tools to get this job done. There you go. That'll work. Then take this. Slide it onto one of the ends. Now basically we already have a selfie stick for our camera. We could already thread it on if we wanted to. But we're not done yet. We need to get some way to mount this onto a kayak. Okay, so right here is a Railblazer adapter. And you'll notice that it looks the same as this right here that is on this camera mount i'm choosing to use this here because then i can actually mount this camera pole to any of my railblazer mounts which are called the star ports also if i want to mount this camera set up to a track mount i can do that just by using a railblazer track adapter so this will add some versatility if you guys choose to use another brand of mount, you could check into Scotty. Scotty has post mounts, which you could probably fix to the pipe, and then you'd be able to have a Scotty compatible mount set up. Um, but I'm choosing Railblazer just because I currently use a lot of their mounts, and the kayak in which I am currently using it on came with Railblazer mounts. So what we're gonna do is, once again, we are going to be drilling into a cap. Okay, we then can take the nut piece out. 
go like this. So now we could simply put that on and we could have our camera mount. Or what we can do is we can put it on this piece of pipe and then we could put like an angle piece And then we can have this type of boom arrangement. If we want to have the camera higher in the air, we simply put on a coupler piece. And now our camera boom is twice as long. How does this thread on? Well, let's try it out here. Perfect. Let's go test fit it on the kayak. You'll notice we got mangoes all over the ground. That mango tree is producing a ton of mangoes. Okay, so we could Mount the camera now if we wanted to. We could just have a shorter version of it. Drop it in. Lock it down. And now our camera is where it needs to be. Here we can unlock it. We could add the coupler. And we could swap this end and put it onto this end and we could make our camera pull twice as long if we needed to. So that's just an option, just a simple, cheap uh, way to make a camera pull. So as I said earlier, if you get yourself one of these adapters, you'll be able to mount your camera pull to modern kayaks with all the track mounts. So these kayaks and paddle boards have track mounts on the sides and you could mount your camera pull pretty much anywhere on them. All you need is that camera adapter. So another option I have considered is to use my existing Railblazer camera boom. And what I could do is I could make a smaller version of that camera boom out of PVC and I could attach it just like that. And then I wouldn't have that big square base getting in the way of my footage. Or I could buy this adapter here and use the lower part that you see there to attach my camera to the pole. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Shout out to our first Patreon supporter, Michael Lopez at TV Nation. Here is his link to his channel. I'll also have a pop-up link right here. And you can check out some of his videos and also here's some videos that are also kind of related to the project that you just saw.